Chris here with uh, Adam Smith, head of Sky Sports. Adam, another great event coming up. Kelbrook, Errol Spence. What's your take on this one then? It's a wonderful fight. I, I think in many ways it's the matchup of the year. I mean, AJ and Klitschko, uh, Hey Bellew, um, other fights probably got more uh, casual audiences involved, more maybe more of a magnitude on the bigger scale. But I think it's a pure fight. Um, Kelbrook against Errol Spence Jr. is uh, is one that I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, they don't know what's going to happen. Eddie Hearn certainly doesn't know what's going to happen. Um, and I think that that's what you want in a, in a fight with you know two guys who are let's let's be honest they're elite level. You know Kelbrook has won a world title in the states. He's defended it. He's had the guts and courage to go up and take on the you know the the, the incredible Gennady Golovkin. Um, came out of it you know fairly unscathed despite the eye injury. He put up a really good fight, a really good show. Uh, now he's dragging himself back down to welterweight and weight, certainly, and it's a tough ask against a guy in Errol Spence Jr. who I've been watching for a number of years, and I personally believe that, and I've always believed that he could become the next great thing in America. I think he's really talented. Um, I think it's a very dangerous fight. When Eddie Hearn told me, I was like, are you sure you want to do this? And I thought Kel might, might want to fight at super welterweight like middle and not come back at welterweight, but he wanted to hold on to his title. He wants to take on the challenges. He wants to be in big fights on the biggest stage. And, and good luck to him. That's that's what Kel Brook's all about. You know, um, win or lose this fight. I love that attitude. Um, you know, he's got the bit between his teeth, Kel. He sees it as hammered against Kelly in the garden all those years ago. Britain against America, all this rest of it. And, you know, in a week where obviously it's uh, an emotional week for everybody in, in around the world with what's happened, the terrible scenes in Manchester and people being brought together, I think that, you know, we don't need to sort of say it's England, America, it's, mm. you know, it's a big war, anything like that. There's, there's enough going on in the world to, to concern all of us. Um, it's just a really good boxing matchup. And I think that um, Kelbrook against Errol Spence is the fact that it's been made it is great for the sport. So I think it's going to be a huge night on Saturday. Um, I think it's it's terrific for Sheffield. It's a city I've got a huge soft spot for, uh, having been here probably more more times on the train than I care to remember the, the days of Naz and Johnny, of course, and Ryan Rhodes and Junior Witter and all that. So it's a great city. It's a, uh, a proud city. It's a sporting city. And I hope that everyone comes out to support Kel Brook because uh, he's going to need it against you, a very tough American in, in Errol Spence. Do, when Eddie came to you and presented Errol Spence, like you just said, you were a bit... Um, my, my, my gut reaction was I, I wasn't sure it was the right move uh, for Kel Brook. Did you not offer an alternative then and maybe said, hang on a minute, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, how much say does... Ed, I, when I, it, don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm the head of boxing, you know, at Sky. I, um, I look after the TV side of it. I work very closely with Eddie, obviously, and... Uh, and the other sort of, um, you know, head of Showtime and Stephen Espinosa and Peter Nelson at HBO and, and various other people. But we don't actually make the fights. The fights are made by the promoter. So when Eddie told me about Gennady Golovkin, because Golovkin is going to fight Eubank, we're all ready for that. He picked up the phone. He said, Adam, you're not going to believe this. He's sitting down. He said, I'm going to put Golovkin in with Brook. Brook took five seconds to accept the fight. I said, wow, good luck to him. That's great. That's a fantastic story. When he gave me the phone call and said it's going to be Brook against Spence, I said, are you, are you sure about it? I was, you know, if, if I'm looking at it, you know, I'm impartial. I want great fights. That's the only important thing for me. But if you're looking at it as Kel Brook's promoter with a Kel Brook hat on, it's a tough, tough ask for him. You know, my worry is not whether Kel Brook's good enough to win this fight. My worry is about, you know, you've been at middleweight. Coming down. Coming back yeah. to welterweight. Is he still strong? Will he still be strong down the stretch? Errol Spence is a wonderful talent with great body shots. Now, is it the right fight? And Eddie was asking the same question a few minutes ago. You know, was it the right fight to make? Seeing him in the ring there, he's convinced that it is the right fight for Kel Brook. Listen, it's the right fight yeah. for boxing. Yeah. Let's see what happens on the night. If it's a great fight, we'll have it again, you know? They're predicting a thriller. I hope we get one. But yeah, it's a very, very tough ask. And I can understand why, why Errol Spence is seen as the favourite. Like you said, Hamed against uh, Kelly all them years ago. Do you think that this will be a shootout then? Do you think that, sort of like how... Um, you know, both guys coming at it and instead of it being a chess match, do you think it's going to be fire versus fire? Do you know what I think it might happen? I think it might start off a little bit like Joshua Klitschko. I think it might be a, a little chess match, but I think one of them is going to get through with something. Now, Errol has is, 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 got power, especially to that body. You know, he wasn't showing any of that today. Kel, wonderful right hand against Southpaws. He's brilliant against Southpaws, always has been. Not a problem for him being in the, in the Winkerbank gym. Um, something's going to give, and it's going to give, I think, in the first quarter of the fight. And I think then you'll see it, you'll see it sort of exploding into life. Um, so yeah, I expect a thrilling fight. Um, 
I'm not sure he does go the distance. A lot of people think that Kel might win on points or, or, or Spence might win on points. I think that this might turn into a into a bit of a war of attrition. Um, who that favours? I think early doors it favours Kel. Um, later on it might favour Spence down the stretch, but then Spence is pretty unproven, you know, at this elite level. So it, listen, anything could happen, which is why we want to watch it. And in terms of pay-per-view buys, obviously the success of Anthony Joshua over a million buys. I mean, have you got a target for this one somewhere no. that you'd be pleased with? Or? Listen, we don't we don't talk about targets. We just want to make sure that we're giving value for money every time that we put on a Sky Sports box office event. You've got George Groves against Fedor Chudinov, a wonderful 50-50 pick and fight as well as a world title. You've got a Commonwealth title fight, two of them. We've got one with David Allen, who's a bit of an enigma against the uh, Elmore Nelson from, um, uh, from Jamaica and Florida. You've got uh, Andy Townend and John Cage. You've got, you know, you've got, you know, terrific card. You've got Fowler and and um, uh, Coley and Kadena on. You know, it's a it's a great night and a lot of Sheffield kids as well. You know, who Kel wanted on the card. It's a great night from top to bottom. That's what we like to deliver on Sky Sports box office. So um, yeah, we're hoping for another really successful night. And just finally. Um... Is there any explanation why there wasn't like a head-to-head? -head? You know, where they, with Johnny, they sit down together. Um, is it the gloves are off? Was, there was no gloves are off. For, for, uh, I, I think I think that was because uh, a little bit of the time difference to travel with Errol Spence. He came over. We didn't really have enough time to do it when he came over the first time. And now it's fight week, and I think it's time for the fighters to. You know, they do the separate interview, but to bring them together, I think three or four days out from the fight. But um, you know, look, there's plenty of other stuff we've had behind the ropes. We've had a. Uh, yeah, huge amounts of push on, on digital on skysports.com we stream the <clears throat> the workout live for four hours or something today um sky sports news are going to take us all the way through till fight night so you know i think we just want to see them get in the ring now and as i said you know we've got to think about what's happened this week in britain you know it's uh may, maybe it, it it might not have been the time to bring the two of them together and start starting them slagging each other off and, yeah you know yeah. the the heat of battle like, let's just get the fight on now i think uh, the talking is almost done, you know, we've got the press conference and the way in, which will be, I think, sort of wonderful events here in Sheffield. And I think that's what we've got to focus on in light of what's happened at the Manchester Arena on, 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 on Monday. You know, it's uh, this is a small area of boxing and it's a, it's a communal area. You know, people, people are brought together. A boxing community is very small. Um, you know, we're all, um, we're all shocked to what happened on Monday. And all we want now is a, is a safe and sound night on Saturday. Everybody gets there safely. Everybody goes home safely. And we have uh, a very, very good night for this sport. Thank you very much.